Welcome to another legacy video. Today I'll be showing you how to download the legacy 4J mod. Um, some people have been saying it's been causing problems or crashes in my previous video. So I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to download it. We're going to start off with Curse Forge. There's a link in the description down below to all the timestamps to your Pacific launcher. So say if you want to do it on something else like Fabric, Neo Forge or anything like that. There'll be timestamps to your tutorial. This is starting off with Curse Wars and then we'll be into anything else. So Curse Wars is pretty simple. You go to files, then you go to the latest file, you click install with Curse Forge app, you click open Curse Forge app, create new profile, legacy, and then press create. You don't need to call it legacy. I'm just calling it legacy so I can find it. And as you can see, it's here. And it will come with Anarchy API and it will also come with Legacy 4G. That is it. That's done. That's how quick it is because you can just download Curse Forge, install the mod pack, and that's done. Right, on to manual installing. Manual installing isn't as bad. For Fabric API, what you need to do is go to Fabric Download. This link will be in the description down below. Then you need to click on Download for Windows. And then you need to go here, download it, and then you choose 1.20.4, as the mod pack is not on anything higher. It has to be 1.20.4, or if you want to play it on 1.20.2, you can. Then you click install, and then there you go, it's done. So after that, you need to download this little thing called Fabric API. You go to files, and then you go to game versions. Then you go to 1.20.4. Then you download the latest 1.20.4 version of Fabric API. And then you click download. Since I already have this, I'm going to cancel the download. And I'm actually just going to go to the folder with all the mods that is needed for this tutorial in here. Um, you go to percent, app data, percent. And then you go to dot Minecraft mods and put it into the mods folder. There is another mod that is dependent on legacy. So it's an API that you need for the mod and it's called Anitry API. I think that's how you say it. Then you go to files, you go to game version 1.20.4. Then you go to fabric and it's right here. You click on download file. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm actually going to cancel this instantly. And then there you go. It's downloaded for fabric. And when you launch the Minecraft launcher, as you can see, it's here. I'm just going to prove that it works as well. Um, I hope this tutorial has helped you. Um, this has been the fabric part of the tutorial. We're just about to move on to Forge. There you go. It works perfectly fine on uh, fabric. Now I'm going to do Forge. So you've come here for the Forge part of the tutorial. You want to know how to do it. First of all, you will need to download Forge. So let me go to Forge. Download Minecraft. Go to the Forge website. They'll be linked in the description down below. Go down to 1.20.4. Go to Installer. Do not click on anything on this page. That some things are known to be viruses or whatever. Just wait for this 3, 2, 1 to pop up. Then press Skip. And once you've pressed Skip, uh, go to your Downloads. And you should see this Forge 1.20.4 Downloader. I'm just going to remove everything from my mods folder so you can actually follow along. And there you go. There's Forge. You click it. You do need Java installed, by the way. I think it's obvious, though. Install client here. Okay. After it's installed, what you need to do is you need to go to Legacy 4J. So while I'm waiting for Forge to download, there is two mods that you need. So you go down to game versions, 1.20.4, mod loader, forge, and then you click on download here. Wait for it to download, and then you go to an archery as well. You go to game version, 1.20.4, and mod loader, you go to forge, and then you click on download on that as well. And they'll both download in three, two, one there. That one's downloaded. Then this one downloads, and you might be wondering, how do you get this into your mods folder? You do this little thing called percent app data, 
actually sent into the little search thing at the bottom. Go here, go dot Minecraft, and you go mods, and then you and then you get both of your mods, drag it into the mods folder, which is right here. Then after you've dragged it into your mods folder, you launch the Minecraft launcher to obviously get four. Once the Minecraft launcher is loaded, uh, as you can see, Forge is here. I'm going to click play to prove that it works. Um, you have to make sure that you have the API in your mod folder as well as Legacy 4J. There you go, the mod loaded. Right, this is the end of the Forge tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this part of the tutorial. Now, you might be wondering how to download this mod on Neo Forge. So basically you go to the Curse Forge downloader here and what you do, you go to files, then you go down to mod loaders, then you go down to Neo Forge, and then you select 1.20.4. You click on the little download button here, wait for it to manually download. You do the same on Anarchy API, it's another thing that you need. You go down to 1.20.4, you go to Mod Launcher, Neo Forge, then you go here, download file, and then you wait for it to download. To download Neo Forge, what you do is you go to four other versions, click here to get the versions list. So when you're on this page, you go down to the Minecraft version, click 1.20.4, then you click download. After it's downloaded, you click on the Neo Forge installer. The Neo Forge installer, you click install for client, click proceed, and then it will install for you. Then after it's installed, we'll actually have to drag the mods into the mods folder. So let me just grab the mods that we need. So Legacy 4J and Anarchy, you actually do this thing called percent app data app data data sent you go to your dot minecraft folder then you go to mods and you put it into the mods folder and there you go you've got it for neo forge after neo forge is downloaded you open up your minecraft launcher then as you can see neo forge is here if it's not there then it should be in the drop down menu you click on play click on play again and then when you wait for it to load it should load the mods and i will prove that it's going to load the mods as well and as it loads, you should see the 4J logo and all of its stuff. So that should load. There we go. It worked. The Neo Forge version of this mod worked. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a like and please subscribe for more. As I am a legacy YouTuber trying to bring back the legacy edition of the game. Thank you so much.